Ah, bromance, the one bond that can never be broken. When two dudes form an everlasting friendship, not even a TV cancellation can break them up. Their relationship goes down in bro history. And we're here to celebrate those special bro bonds that get your little eyes watery. Shut up, man. No, I love you, bro. Hi, I'm Leo Camacho with Channel Frederator, and we've got all the best animated buddies in cartoon history. From old school Nickelodeon bros, to animal bros, to new age post-apocalyptic bros. So, get your high fives ready, because we're counting down the 10 best cartoon bromances. Let's get started, bro. Number 10, Ren and Stimpy, The Ren and Stimpy Show. Representing one of the first vulgar fart buddies on TV, Ren and Stimpy stuck together through thick and thin, and everything sticky in between. Ugh. They held dinner parties, had a pet clown, drove a ghost back to life, ended up naked in a stranger's bath together, and Lord knows Stimpy has taken a lot of beatings from Ren. He must really love his bro to stay after multiple injuries, and Ren must really love Stimpy to stay friends with someone who lets down his gross nose hair for him to climb instead of a normal rope. Hey, Stimpy! You idiot! If you still had any doubt that these two really do love each other, it was made very clear during their tear-jerking parting in Ren's pecs. Both Ren and Stimpy were very torn up to leave each other because, well, bros for life, man. Number 9. Bart and Milhouse, The Simpsons. Since the beginning, which was 27 seasons ago, Bart and Milhouse have been best friends. They're definitely an unusual pair, seeing as Bart is more of a mischief maker and Milhouse is more of a nice and awkward nerd. But these two have been best friends since kindergarten. They met when Milhouse sat and drank his milk carton near where Bart was sitting, and Bart made fart noises that made Milhouse laugh so hard that milk squirted out of his nose. And so, the bromance begins. This friendship is definitely more of a hazing kind, where Bart takes advantage of Milhouse's gullibility and gets him into trouble, or pranks him all the time. He's tried to get Milhouse into a cactus, got him to squirt mustard on cars, and even convinced him to help ruin the school by loosening all of the screws. Bart is definitely the leader of the duo, and a bad influence on his buddy. But, they still stick together, even if it's just because, well, they have no other friends. Because they've definitely gotten into fights, and Milhouse constantly constantly tells on Bart, and even abandoned him once after Bart got injured. So, it's a very forgiving friendship, and one that's lasted 27 years. These two have even been on America's most wanted list together. So, you know, they're literally partners in crime. Oh, you crazy kids. Number 8, Mordecai and Rigby, Regular Show. Regular Show may not always be about regular things, but this friendship between Mordecai and Rigby is probably the most regular bromance of all. Not only because they constantly fight, but because they do everyday ordinary things that real life friends would actually do. Like, you know, trying to ditch work and hang out together, or asking each other's help when, say, someone gets bitten by a were skunk, or needs a partner in a rap battle. Rigby is even a good wingman and goes on double dates when he really doesn't want to so that Mordecai can spend more time with Margaret. Now that's a good bro. And they complement each other well, since Mordecai is the responsible and well-behaved one, while Rigby is hyper and immature. Yin and yang, bro. They've dealt with both ordinary and fantastical dilemmas, from getting donuts and babysitting to, you know, time traveling and getting pops out of an alternate universe. So, as many times as Mordecai smacks Rigby, shut up dude, we know this bromance will last forever. Number 7, Scooby and Shaggy, Scooby Doo. Ah, Scoobs, not just man's best friend, but Shaggy's best bro. Always pairing up when the group splits off, these two share an intense love of food and an intense fear of, well, everything I guess. Scooby is always jumping to the Shaggy's arms when something frightening pops up and Shaggy even eats some of his bro's Scooby snacks. That's dog food. You gotta be really close for that, but seeing ghosts together has to be the biggest bonding experience. I mean, surviving a supernatural near-death experience? Zoiks! Definitely a recipe for making bros become best bros. And Shaggy even mourns the loss of his pal when he thinks Scooby has been turned into stone. These two go down in history as one of the first cartoon bromances to set a path for future animated bros to come. So, if there's ever anything they solved, it was how to keep a friendship alive. Oh yeah, and themselves alive. Like, let's get out of here, Scoobs. <laughs> okay, Reggie. Number 6, Ice King and Gunter, Adventure Time. Now, I know what you're thinking. Ice King always yells at poor Gunter. How are they bros? But Ice King has never been the model for normal behavior, and he's definitely shown his love for the goons many times. <laughs> goons, what a bro name. Plus, Gunter always has the Ice King's back. Well, usually. He may have gotten distracted at Princess Bubblegum's potluck, or taken the Ice King's demonic wishing eye to take over the world, but he's usually a pretty good minion, bro. And in the episode King's Ransom, Ice King goes all out to get Gunter back after he's been kidnapped, even sticking out his own neck. Definitely not a norm for the evil selfish king. But for his bro Goons, Simon will do anything. I love you, bro. 
now go away. Number five, Aladdin and Abu. Aladdin, the bros of the streets. Aladdin and Abu make a slick pair that can con anyone into doing anything. From stealing food, to escaping the guards, to getting the genie lamp from the Cave of Wonders, there's nothing this duo can't do, including saving the kingdom. Well, okay, maybe they had some help from the genie, but you know they're true bros when Abu keeps screwing up and Aladdin lets it slide again, and again, and again. Damn it, Abu! Aw, you can't stay mad at him. If there's any bros that teach you something, it's Aladdin and Abu. A few things they teach us is, number one, teamwork, teamwork, teamwork. Number two, a true bro will always call you out, even when you're being a douche, especially with princesses. And number three, best bros stick together, no matter what. And this bromance even adds a third bro along the way, the genie. Genie and Al definitely form a special bromantic relationship that has them, and us, in tears at the end. Genie, I wish for your bromance. Number four, SpongeBob and Patrick. SpongeBob SquarePants. Underwater bros till the end. These two not only live near each other, they're both on the same, uh, low, uh, very low wavelength. They're both dumb is what I'm trying to say. But they are best buds and they do everything together. They play games, crack jokes, argue, catch jellyfish, blow bubbles, go camping, start snowball fights, party together, and even beef up and join a wrestling tournament. And they fight against each other, of course. They've also misbehaved in class together, which is pretty much a bro ritual. SpongeBob even got Patrick a job at the Krusty Krab once. I mean, what are best bros for? These two not only make viewers laugh constantly, but they crack each other up too. <laughs> And the best romantic thing about them is that they hate being apart. <laughs> I miss you, man. I miss you too. Number three, Timon and Pumbaa, The Lion King. This bromance is one that makes all Lion King fans smile. They're the two most unlikely animals to make friends, yet somehow they've become besties. They live together and they grub together. Timon and Pumbaa are so hilarious that these bros got their own spin-off TV series. It aired on CBS, the Disney Channel, and Toon Disney. And it ran for four years, keeping us laughing and singing with our favorite warthog and meerkat. And let's be honest, you didn't even know what a warthog or a meerkat was before meeting Timon and Pumbaa. Not not only do these bros have each other's backs against hyenas and their buddy Simba's back, but they also brought fame back to the song The Lion Sleeps Tonight, introducing it to a whole new generation. They don't run with any pack, and they hang out wherever they please. Typical rebel bros. Free and musical? Yes please, I'll join their brotherhood, but I might not eat with them. Although, I hear the food is slimy yet satisfying. Hakuna Matata bro. Number 2. Brian and Stewie. Family Guy. It's pretty common for dogs and babies to get along in real life, and even form a bit of a bond. But this bromance between Brian and Stewie is not your typical dog and baby relationship. Being that it's between a genius baby and a talking dog, you can imagine that their adventures are endless. They've been drunk together, they've seen each other naked, been cross country to get Brian's stuffed mom, been to the North Pole, and they've even traveled back in time together. Now, if time travel doesn't bond you, I don't know what does. How about letting your bro pierce your ear? Because they did that too. And Brian and Stewie even constantly bicker like a married couple, as those in bromances usually do. But they always end up coming back together for yet another partner in crime shenanigan. And they'll rattle off offensive yet hilarious jokes while doing it. That's why Brian and Stewie hold such a dear spot in our bromantic hearts. Brewery for life. And the number one spot, no surprise, goes to Finn and Jake, the ultimate homies help homies bromance. Not only do these guys actually risk their lives to save each other every single week, but Jake even tries to give his bro Finn some girl advice. Their bromance is deep rooted, with Finn being Jake's adopted brother, so it's no wonder they have the most selfless bro love in all of cartoons. Oh, and check this out. Finn even declines a bite of Jake's perfect sandwich in the episode Time Sandwich because he knows how much Jake really wants to eat all of it. Super bro move. They live together, they fight together, they even play video games together. The number one bromance activity. But they also pass the other bro code, the occasional dude fart. Dang it, Jake! They definitely know how to have a good laugh together and be lazy together. Plus, the show title and the theme song even make sure to name these the main bros of Ooh. Ding! The romance meter has hit the max. There's so many special cartoon bromances that we couldn't leave without giving some, okay, a lot of them, an honorable mention. <gasps> Tommy and Chucky, Lenny and Carl, Mowgli and Baloo, Beavis and Butthead, Pinky and the Brain, Doug and Skeeter, Dr. Doof and Schmertz and Perry the Platypus, Pimo and Football, Terrence and Philip, Jafar and Iago, Sebastian and Flounder, Cogsworth and Lumiere, Bambi and Thumper, Pooh and Piglet, Rocky and Bullwinkle, Tom and Jerry, well, I mean, kinda, Sonic and Tails, and finally, Squidward and his clarinet. That's a lot of bros. Thanks so much for watching the top 10 best cartoon bromances. Which bromances are your favorite? Did we leave any out? Comment below and let us know, bro. And if you liked the video, make sure to hit subscribe so that you can check out all of our latest content. Because remember, Frederator loves you, bro.